Life is pretty simple. You do some stuff. Most fails. Some works. You do more of what works. If it works big, others quickly copy it. Then you do something else. The trick is the doing something else. Just as courage imperils life, fear protects it. As a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so a life well-spent brings happy death. Our life is made by the death of others. Life well-spent is long. Man and animals are in reality vehicles and conduits of food, tombs of animals. Hostels of death, coverings that consume, deriving life by the death of others. Experience does not err. Only your judgments err by expecting from her what is not in her power. Art is never finished, only abandoned. The human foot is a masterpiece of engineering in a work of art. Painting is concerned with all the ten attributes of sight, which are, darkness, light, solidity and color, form and position, distance and propinquity, motion and rest. The painter who draws merely by practice and by eye, without any reason, is like a mirror which copies everything placed in front of it without being conscious of their existence. Where the spirit does not work with the hand, there is no art. A beautiful body perishes, but a work of art dies not. The divisions of perspective are three, as used in drawing, of these. The first includes the diminution in size of opaque objects. The second treats of the diminution and loss of outline in such opaque objects. The third, of the diminution and loss of color at long distances. I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. Where there is shouting, there is no true knowledge. He who loves practice without theory is like the sailor who boards ship without a rudder and compass and never knows where he may cast. The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. All our knowledge has its origins in our perceptions. The truth of things is the chief nutriment of superior intellects. While I thought that I was learning how to live, I have been learning how to die. Learning never exhausts the mind. Knowledge of the past and of the places of the earth is the ornament and food of the mind of man. Necessity is the mistress and guide of nature. Necessity is the theme and inventors of nature, her curb and her eternal law. For once you have tasted flight you will walk the earth with your eyes turned skywards. For there you have been and there you will long to return. Although nature commences with reason and ends in experience it is necessary for us to do the opposite, that is to commence with experience and from this to proceed to investigate the reason. Human subtlety will never devise an invention more beautiful, more simple or more direct than does nature because in her inventions nothing is lacking and nothing is superfluous. In rivers, the water that you touch is the last of what has passed and the first of that which comes. So with present time, water is the driving force of all nature. Iron rusts from disuse, 
Water loses its purity from stagnation, even so does inaction sap the vigor of the mind. The senses are of the earth, the reason stands apart from them in contemplation. Nature never breaks her own laws. Anyone who conducts an argument by appealing to authority is not using his intelligence, he is just using his memory. The length of a man's outspread arms is equal to his height. A well-spent day brings happy sleep. It's easier to resist at the beginning than at the end. As every divided kingdom falls, so every mind divided between many studies confounds and saps itself. There are four powers, memory and intellect, desire and covetousness. The two first are mental and the other sensual. The three senses, sight, hearing and smell cannot well be prevented, touch and taste not at all. He who is fixed to a star does not change his mind. Tears come from the heart and not from the brain. Time abides long enough for those who make use of it. Every action needs to be prompted by a motive. I have offended God and mankind because my work didn't reach the quality it should have. The smallest feline is a masterpiece. There is no object so large but that at a great distance from the eye it does not appear smaller than a smaller object near. The Medici created and destroyed me. I have wasted my hours. Just as food eaten without appetite is a tedious nourishment, so does study without seal damage the memory by not assimilating what it absorbs. Blinding ignorance does mislead us. Oh! Wretched mortals, open your eyes. Why does the eye see a thing more clearly in dreams than the imagination when awake? You can have no dominion greater or less than that over yourself. Nothing strengthens authority so much as silence. Marriage is like putting your hand into a bag of snakes in the hope of pulling out an eel. You do ill if you praise, but worse if you censure, what you do not understand. Medicine is the restoration of discordant elements, sickness is the discord of the elements infused into the living body. <laughs>